Hey, what's going on guys? My name is David and welcome back to Click Academics. Today we're going to be learning exponents. So this is just a quick little introductory video to get you a basic understanding of exponents and just a quick overview of what you're going to need to know. So let's start off with 3 squared. So you can also think of this as 3 times itself 2 times. So let me write that down here. 3 multiplied by itself, which is 3, 2 times, since there's two threes here. Now 3 times 3 equals 9, and that would be our answer for 3 squared. So 3 squared equals 9. Now let's try another one. Let's try 4 squared. So 4 multiplied by itself 2 times. So 4 times 4 equals 16. All right? So 4 squared would equal 16. All right, now let's try more of a tricky one. Let's do 2 to the power of 3. So this is 2 times itself 3 times. So that would mean we have 2 times 2 times 2. So there's three twos here. So now we have to multiply these together, which two times two equals four, and then times two equals eight, and eight would be our answer. So two cubed, or two to the power of three, equals eight. Now let me show you a quick rule for exponents here. So let's try two to the power of one. Now we can think of this as two times, now we have to multiply it, but the, we only have one two, so we can't actually multiply it by anything, and our answer is two. So, so the rule here is anything to the power of one is itself. It could be two million to the power of one, and it would still be two million. Now let me show you another rule here. So let's try three to the power of zero. So three to the power of zero well, we need to have zero threes. Well, we can't have zero threes. Anything to the power of zero is just one. It could be x to the power of zero, 900 to the power of zero. No matter what, it's always going to equal one. All right, so I wrote a couple practice problems and I want you guys to pause the video right now and see if you can solve them. All right, so now that you figured out these, let's see what the answers are. So three to the power of three, we can think of this as three times three times three, which is nine times three. And nine times three is 27. So three to the power of three would be 27. Now we have four to the power of zero, and remember our rule, anything to the power of zero always equals one. So four to the power of zero would be one. Now we have two to the power of four. This is two times itself four times. So we have to write four twos here. Two times two times two times two. So two times two is four, and we have to multiply that by two, and we have to multiply that by two. So four times two is eight, and we have to multiply that by two, and eight times two equals 16. So 16 would be our answer. So two to the power of four equals 16. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed that video. Make sure to like and subscribe with notifications on to never miss another upload, and I'll see you guys in the next one.